All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. Now, for all of you scoffers and all of you that made mockery, all right, took delight in your scorning about the RFID chip not being the mark of the beast. You can see it now, baby. <laughs> you can see it now. Oh, yes. Now, why I'm saying this is because I just, you know, went about to, uh, you know, go and get some things from the store. And now some of these stores, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be every last one, because once they do it in one place, they, they do it to all of them. You can't walk, you can't go into the store unless you have masks and gloves on. Alright? You can't go into the store unless you have masks and gloves on. Now, you know us brothers, we ain't walking around with no fucking masks, man. And no damn gloves, scared and spooked and spooked over this coronavirus, man. Alright? People are so afraid. Well, let me not say, yeah, people are. But what happened is, the point I'm trying to make is, you cannot go into the store without masks and gloves. Now, mind you, I don't walk around with that shit, all right? So I had to use my headband to cover my face, and I used my workout gloves and shit. And these are not proper gloves, right? So the lady in the store was fucking mad because the dude let me in, and she saw my hands, and she said, uh-uh, nah, those not proper gloves. And I just kept walking, like, fuck that. You know, and um, you know these gloves right here, these workout gloves, whatever, construction gloves, right? And um, and um, it hit me while I was in the store. I said, "Look at that!" You know, I had to start laughing. One guy, you know, looking and was trying to figure out why the hell am I smiling and laughing because it hit me when they mandate this chip, when they mandate and tell you that you can't buy or sell, you can't make a purchase. For an item that you need in the store, shit, let alone to get in the store. It's, it's obvious, man. Now you can't go into a store, a food store, in certain stores. I don't know about all of them, but I'm pretty sure all of them going to start doing this. You have to have masks and gloves. If you don't have masks and gloves, you got to turn around. So how much more when they change the way that you pay for things, which is all digital, man. All right. If that store don't have a Pacific app for the phone, all right, that you can download and pay out of your phone, all right, because they're going to stop accepting debit cards, man. If you don't got that chip, you won't be able to buy and sell, man. You can see it right now with masks and gloves, you know, so that's all I wanted to say, man. Revelations 13 and 16, the scriptures say he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or their forehead, man. All right. So that script. So the mark of the beast is screaming. <laughs> and this is good news, man, because we almost out of here, man. So for all you scoffers that scoffed <laughs> and said the chip ain't the mark of the beast. Well, guess what? You can't get into certain food stores without having the mask and gloves. That's how easy and fast they can change the way that you do things, man. You pay for things and buy for things, man. And this is just starting with masks and gloves, man. All right? You know, so now what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to run in this store. I'm going to get me a thing of gloves, right? And if they got masks, I'll get some masks. Or if not, I just always use my headband, keep, you know, shirts and shit in the car. And all that and just running there with a shirt on your face but then it's probably best to have a mask because if you're going around with esau that they might be saying mm -mm, no 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 can't wear that shirt on your face because they're already afraid of us you know jake love wearing hoodies and masks on their face this is jake this is this is the hood niggas um uh uh what you call uh uh style man all right hoods and masks on their face or so shirts and shit covering up you know so esau you already afraid of jake they might not allow that in certain areas. So, you know, I'm just going to have to give me some gloves and masks and sit them in my car and wherever I go out, probably put them on just to go in the store and take that shit right off when I get back in the car, man. You know, but it's happening, man. All right. You can clearly see 
that we're down we're down that road man all right i mean we saw it before but i'm just saying i'm excited man so so lock you you know hopefully this is edifying and to uh you know give uh more faith into you brothers and knowing that we are in serious and uh bible prophecy man all right that there's there's no fronting it ain't, ain't no fronting man this ain't no uh no fear monger you want to call it this is the real deal all right we're living through the bible right now all right which is the last days the end of esau the end of the world all right and we all know the lord told edris that jacob is up next to follow man <laughs> can't go in the damn store without gloves and a mask man the chick got mad at me man but i kept walking all right i was like fuck that i'm in here man we in here <laughs> you know so with that shalom brother shalom